Hi, I'm back ready to get started on my second layer of my Blue Jay print. I finished my first layer done in grey and I next I'm going to be moving to the blue of the bird. Um, this is the block. Now before I start carving the layer of blue and I will be creating everything on the same block so you can see that it pretty much matches the grey print here and now my task is because I'm going to be doing a reduction print to remove more of the block where I want the grey to show through and uh, where the next layer of blue will get uh, inked onto the block. So here it goes. It's pretty nerve-wracking <laughs> this part of the process because once you take it away you can't put it back. So uh, this is always the, uh, the fun and challenge of printmaking. This is really delicate work because I'm carving out little tiny pieces around uh, the bird's eye. So I'm using my uh, little tiny V tool to get some of the detail and uh, the feathering in around the face where the feathers are quite um, fluffy, I guess. So that's what I'm using uh, for this particular one. And I'm just trying to figure out where I want that gray to show through, so I'll remove that part of the block, but I want to leave enough of the crest of the blue. So here's uh, an area of the tree where I'd like a fair bit of the gray to show through. I'm going to leave uh, more of the black here as the light's coming from this side. So I need to go in and just remove parts of the tree in order for that gray texture of the bark to come through. So I'm going to go in and move some of the block from behind the white highlights that occur right now and try and build up some texture to the bark. And some of this is judgment and some of it is just experience working with reduction blocks and knowing how the art is going to come out at the end and some of it is just pure luck. So, a kind of a combination between the three. So now I'm making the blue of the second layer of the blue J print. And I'm using a really small roller because I'm not, in this case, going to ink the whole surface in blue, just around the bird. So, it's a little bit tricky to make sure that we just hit that part of the block. But I'll use a combination of a tiny roller and then I'm actually creating a little bit of lighter blue highlight around in the pine tree just to create some texture and depth there as well and then I'm going to be using a q-tip to remove some of the blue off of the areas that I don't really want a lot of blue um, but these are also areas that actually are going to be covered with black in the final print. So it's a bit of fussing, but um, kind of fun to, to play around with adding ink on and taking ink off. So here's the block. You can see the blue is mostly around the bird. I'm going to slide that into my jig and pull a print. so the paper remains straight and drop that down and I've got my baron which I'll use to rub the back of the print up and I'll just have a peek see that it's transferred yeah okay good and pull that off yeah very good so here is the next layer you can see that just the bird mostly is highlighted and some little bits of the tree. Uh, it's kind of an experiment, but we'll see how it turns out in the next layer. Mm -hmm. 